Balfour, in, you know, I followed his career. Um, I was a big fan of Mr. Balfour. I followed his career from uh, the Chicago Blackhawks to the San Jose Sharks to the Dallas Stars, right? Yeah. To the Toronto Maple Leafs. To him going to Russia for two years uh, after Toronto, or three years, and him being the number one goalie in Russia. Yep. No, I don't... Well, the fucking proof is in the pudding. Yeah. This guy fucking played great in any fucking league he was in. Yeah, he did. And, and here's a little minutia, a little fucking trivia for you guys. Balfour was never sent down. But he was mistreated like shit by the Chicago Blackhawks. They, they chose Hackett over Balfour. So Balfour went to San Jose. And San Jose begged him, begged him to stay, and he took a haircut to play for Dallas because he wanted a Stanley Cup. And if you guys remember, two of the greatest years, or three of the greatest years in playoffs, was the Edmonton Oilers and the, the Dallas Stars with Balfour and Nett. And one year they had Salo, uh, yeah. uh, you know, the guy who had to Heather was... retire early because he had a, heart, a hole in his heart. Yeah, right. Or he had congenital heart problems. And, uh, and, uh, and, and one year was against Curtis Joseph, but Balfour stood, like, that was a war. The Dallas Stars against the Edmonton Oilers two years in a row, that was a fucking war. Was it not, Joe? It was. Yes, it was. Great series. Two great, yeah, they, two great uh, fucking three. hockey I've seen in my fucking life. The yeah. Stars had a couple of incredible years there, you know, a couple of amazing well, Edmonton years. Edmonton was at the top of their game. And, and and Tommy Salo was a great goalie for his time. Yeah, yeah. You know, he was, yeah, he was but, a great goalie. But Eddie was a man. Eddie was a man. Oh, uh, I would say Eddie Balfour is one of the most exciting goalies I've ever seen play in my life. And the beauty is he matured when he came to Toronto. He wasn't cutting $4 billion checks to the police because they cut him drunk naked in the hotel room <laughs> for the lobby. He matured, and my favorite part is when the, I think it was the Toronto Star or the Toronto Sun wrote that Trevor Kidd and Eddie Belfour were the worst tandem goalies to ever come to Toronto because they were uh, they were really yeah 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 it was it was front page um, Eddie the Seagull and Trevor Kidd and 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 I don't rem- I don't know if you guys remember Eddie Belfour was interviewed and he said to the Toronto fans. Give me a chance. I'm a slow starter out of the gate, but I'll do my best for you. And I'm not here to replace Curtis Joseph. I know he's a great goalie, and he was uh, a, a favorite. I'm, I'm going to do my best to help the team. I don't know if you remember that interview, but he won a lot of people. By, he did, and so he should have. By the sixth he was or seventh of- game, I went to see him play. By the sixth or seventh fucking game, there was number 20 jerseys all over the fucking rink. And every, everybody was yelling, Eddie the Eagle. Yeah. Well, by the first year when he beat the Ottawa Senators by himself. Am I right, Billy? Yeah. Well, whenever you win, your goalie's got to be pretty good. And Eddie stood gave Stood on us- his head. Stood on his head. Yeah. He, he the, 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 that for, the next year, the hottest jersey was not just Matt Sundin. It was Eddie Belfort's. Well, I'll tell you a story that'll give you an idea of how good Eddie Belfour was considered by one of the great hockey minds of my time. Pat Quinn was coaching the Olympic team, and he had Curtis Joseph, he had Brodeur, and he had Eddie the Eagle. And Eddie Belfour was the third guy. When Pat got home from the Olympics, uh, Curtis Joseph had let it be known that he wouldn't be back in Toronto. He because he wouldn't play him. He played Marty Berdur. Yeah, he wouldn't He wouldn't uh, play for Pat because Pat didn't tell him that he was going to replace him with uh, Brodeur. Well, but he played like shit that first game, and then Marty went in net, and Marty never came out again. Yeah, but I, I'll t- just let me finish the story. So when Pat comes back, we're talking about it. He said, Curtis is not very happy with me. But he said, let me tell you the real story, Willie. He said, when Curtis didn't play well in the first game, I didn't have an easy decision to make because, in my mind, the best goalie there was the third goalie, Eddie Belfort. And from that point on, uh, we didn't focus on Belfort, but we knew that Belfort was leaving uh, Dallas, 
and we knew we'd have a candidate. And so Curtis went to Detroit, Balfour came to Toronto, and I don't think we lost an inch in goaltending. And well, Detroit did, because Curtis Joseph shit the bed there. Yeah, yeah, Curtis had a tough time. 